Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Zaping Cuts. In today's video, we'll be doing a low taper, keeping the sides dark and trimming the top. This is the final product here, so stay tuned to see the steps I take in order to create this look. First off, you need to wet your client's hair. Now creating our sections, so you wanna split the hair in the middle and pick up a section here and take off the desired amount. And you're gonna get this section and follow it through all the way to the back of his head. Once you've done that, you grab another section next to that and do the same thing. Continue that section all the way to the back of the head. Until you reach the sides, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well of his head because we split it down the middle. And now with connecting the top to the sides, you're just gonna angle your fingers so that it blends it in. And in order to make sure everything is even, we're gonna pick the hair up in the middle and connect the sides here. So there'll be little areas where there'll be hair popping out, so you just have to cut that off. And I don't know if you guys see, I'm kind of at an angle with my shears. I'm not really cutting straight across my fingers, I'm cutting it at an angle, so it creates a little bit of a texture throughout the hair. It's not so flat. But yeah, you're gonna continue this all the way to the back of the head, just making sure it's even. And I'm gonna use my blow dryer here just to completely dry his hair. Going in with my number, I think that's a three or four. We're gonna knock down some of that length, but keeping it still dark. This is just so that the sides are um, like a nice even length. So when I do tapers, I usually like to line up the client first. So you can see here, we're just touching up the lineup. Just enough so we have a visual of how the lineup's gonna look. Now we're gonna create our ball line. I slant it a little bit down so I have more space to do my fading. And right here is the lever fully open, creating our first guy line. We close the lever fully and begin in the bottom of that guy line and raise it up slightly. We're gonna open the lever a little bit and continue to raise that line. And you're gonna open the lever, I would say, four to five times before you're fully open. Now with our number one guard, lever fully open, same thing, we're gonna go up, I would say half an inch, just cause it's a smaller area. You see here, we're not digging in, we're kind of flicking out once we reach the half inch. We close that lever fully and begin focusing mainly on that bottom line we see to soften it up. With our lever fully open and our half guard, we're gonna focus still on that bottom line. Using the corners with tapers, you gotta use a lot of the corners. It's more detail work than anything, just to make it pop. We close the lever fully and it's gonna remove that bottom line. So you see how it's disappearing using the corners of the clipper. With my one and a half guard, I'm going to soften up this top area that's dark. And then we close that lever fully and soften it up some more. I went in back with my one guard, open and closing as needed just to kind of remove the little dark areas and the top of the taper there. Now with my number two guard, this is gonna help me blend in that top area of the taper to the sides because the sides is like a, uh, a three or four lane. So 
just flick it now it's gonna blend it into that and just detail work with the one and a half guard you can go back and forth and to finish it off i use my texturizing shears just to kind of finish that little blend there now i'm gonna line up around his ears just clean up the line up some more and we're gonna start on the other side so the other side is a little sped up but it's the complete same steps we're gonna be doing so if you're enjoying the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions comment below and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe i appreciate you guys watching Here, we're just cleaning up the lineup around the ears making sure not to push it too bad you don't want to make it look too cosmetic now with the back of the hair we're gonna start our back taper so I just started with the lever fully open and now we close the lever fully and begin creating our guideline there and we're gonna raise that bottom line opening and closing the lever The hair in the back is a little more coarse, so you gotta kinda take your time with it. If you have to go over that area a couple times, you don't do so, just you have a nice blend. This is the one guard fully open. Going up about an inch. We close that lever fully and remove that bottom line. Now with the half guard, lever fully open, we're gonna go over that same area we left off with the number one closed. We close the lever fully, and it's gonna remove that bottom line. Like tapers are a very easy haircut to learn, but it's very hard to keep the taper how you want it, like even on both sides. So it's just a, keeping everything the same is just key with these type of haircuts. And I'm using the corner some more just to kind of get those little fine dark spots there. And to soften up that line, that top line we see, go, go with the one and a half guard, lever fully open, knock it down some more. And this is a one and a half close just to finish off that top area there. I went back with my one guard as well. It's all about, you know, switching your guards, seeing what's gonna work. If, it, if nothing's getting faded, you gotta go either shorter or change the guard. Now clean up around the ears some more. On both sides right here. Make sure you comb out that hair so you have a nice and sharp line. So this is my client when he came in. Needed a cut, had to bless him. And this is after. So what you guys think in the comments below. If this video helped you learn a little bit more about tapers and stuff like that. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.